What's up everyone, I'm Kawai, and I just embarked on the adventure of a lifetime in the heart of Japan, Tokyo, and guess what? You're coming along for the ride. Before we dive in, please hit that subscribe button. We're on the road to 100 subscribers, and I'd love to hit that very soon. As the ultimate travel planner, I left no stone unturned to create the perfect Tokyo experience. Hours of research, done. Counting the scrolling through reviews, you bet. And the result? Two jam-packed days full of unforgettable adventures all for you. Day one kicked off at the crack of dawn with the serene Meiji Jingu Shrine. There's just something magical about that place in the morning light. Be sure to check out the cafe and also there's a nice gift shop there. We were actually lucky enough to witness a wedding. I mean imagine having your wedding at a shrine in Japan. How amazing is that? Next up, Shibuya Sky. If you think you've seen city views, think again. This was mind blowing. But pro tip, please book in advance because you could really miss out. Once you get to the loft, you want to take the lift all the way to the top. And from there you'll get panoramic views of the Shibuya skyline. From there you can do some shopping, but of course we recommend the iconic Shibuya scramble crossing. It's like a perfectly orchestrated dance of chaos and color. As you cross, you'll see music just blaring from all the buildings, the beautiful signs. You can continue through to this beautiful alleyway which has shops, food, bars. Shinjuku was next on our list. When you head to Shinjuku station, don't worry because if you feel confused, it's completely normal. Once you get the hang of that place, you'll be able to go anywhere. As you step out, you'll see the famous 3D cat billboard, which is so unreal to watch. Around there though, you might be able to find a cat cafe. Yes, a cafe where the cats are just free to roam around and it's honestly so cool. One of the best experiences that I had in Japan was actually riding the LUP electric scooters. It only cost about 200 yen for 30 minutes of riding and they can ride on a road and it just helped us get around so much more efficient. So we highly recommend you get one of the scooters because with one of them, you can head straight to the Shinjuku government building. The building offers free views of the entire city get taken right to the top, there's a bar, there's a gift shop, and most importantly, you can see the whole city. The city goes on for miles and miles and miles. Next you absolutely must visit Omoide Yokucho. Yeah, I know I definitely mispronounced that, but you have to go there. It is basically an alleyway that's so reminiscent of old Japan. It's all these tiny little food stores where you can barely fit. You're also almost guaranteed to meet some new people. The cozy little restaurants are so small that everyone's sitting right next to each other and you have no choice but to make some conversation. After a delicious meal, you have to head over to Kabukcho and Golden Guy. Here you'll find the most charming little bars. And you also meet some amazing friends again. This area is known as the Japanese Red Light District, but don't be scared because Japan is generally very safe. This is where you experience the Japanese nightlife if you're into that stuff. But please don't fall for maid scams. If you get coerced off the street into a place by a pretty woman, it's most likely you're going to get scammed. And now we start day two. And day two must start bright and early. First stop will be Sensoji Temple. And to beat the huge crowds, you have to go early. To be honest, when we were there, we didn't have the best experience because it was so busy and hot. Get there early. Once you've spent some time there and also shopping at the markets, head over to Tokyo Skytree. You can book tickets in advance, but it's not needed. And from there you can get 360 panoramic views of the entire city. But be careful because we got stuck up there for almost an hour because the winds were too hard and the elevator wouldn't even move, but it was worth it in the end. From there you can also see the Pokemon Center that's located inside of the mall. 
From there, take a quick train ride all the way to Akihabara, the Akihabara electric town. It is a place like no other. Here, electronics and anime converge to create a shopping experience only found in Japan. Seriously, spend some quality time there. You might find some cool electronics or little fun gifts that you would want to bring home. Make sure though, to leave time to go to Chiyoda City, because there is the Imperial Palace. This palace though has really weird opening times, so try and plan it so you can get there in time for when it opens. After a serene experience at the palace, it's time to contrast it with some shopping down pedestrian paradise in Ginza. You'll find a giant 12-story Uniqlo there, and the Ginza 6 Mall, which has an amazing green rooftop with amazing views. It's free too. After some shopping, head for dinner at the Tsuki Outer Market. The freshest and most unique seafood you'll ever eat. Something I really enjoyed was Tokyo Team Labs. You might be pushed to get in during the day, but what we did is we took the LUP scooters over the bridge and were treated to an amazing showcase of art. Of course you have to book in advance, but it's something I highly recommend you do while you're in Japan. And there you have it. An epic two day adventure in Tokyo that I'm sure you'll never forget. And it's all thanks to hours of planning, of course, a little bit of adventure spirit. If something goes wrong, that's all part of the journey. And this itinerary may not be perfect and you may not stick to it. But that's all part of the adventure. I love traveling and I know if you love traveling, I'm gonna be making content that's just for you. So I'd really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button. Let me know if you want a full video. I've got info on Kyoto, Osaka and Mount Fuji. And trust me, don't want to miss them. Well, until next time, keep exploring and I'll see you in the next video. Arigato and happy travels.